about right now. In this video, I want to do a quick comparison between the One UI 5.0 and the iOS 16.1 with respect to the notification features on both these gorgeous looking devices. This video is going to help you know how exactly these two OEMs have implemented the notification features on their devices. If you're a Samsung user, you will know what iPhone has to offer. And if you're an iPhone user, you will know what Samsung has to offer specifically with respect to the notification features. And after you finish watching this video, do let me know which one is better when it comes to notification features on these two devices. Now let's dive into the video. On the left, I've got the S22 Ultra. When I double tap on the lock screen, I can see these notification icons here. Of course, we can customize the way they look. Uh, I can just tap on this to expand a couple of notifications and the rest of the notifications will be showing up only in icons. When I tap on these icons, it's going to expand into the notification panel and we can scroll through it to see all the notifications. We will have an access to the quick toggles also right on top of it. Now the issue with Samsung phones with respect to the notifications on the lock screen or on the notification panel is that it doesn't really scroll smoothly. When we have too many notifications to show up here, it stutters a bit and it doesn't really give you that 120 hertz refresh rate. That's a bummer on the Samsung phones. I did enable the show refresh rate option in the developer options and I could see when I scroll the notifications, it was scrolling at 96 hertz refresh rate, not at 120 hertz. That is not cool from Samsung. We would love to see 120 hertz refresh rate even on the notification panel. Now let's move to the iPhone. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max running on iOS 16.1. On the lock screen, I can just swipe up here to see all these notifications and it's a pleasure to see the notifications on this particular phone because here it looks like it is definitely at 120 hertz and the scrolling animation and transition is really really smooth here no matter how many notifications you've got on the lock screen it doesn't stutter or lag it offers a very smooth scrolling experience here now here on android we have both quick toggles and the notifications on one single page whereas on the ios we have got control center separately when we swipe from the right we see only the control center and we don't get to see the notifications with this and on the left hand side we can pull down the notification panel to see all the notifications here so the notifications don't interfere with the control center or the quick toggles this is how it's been implemented on ios on the lock screen now let's unlock the phone and go to settings on both the devices and tap on notifications now look at these menu options. On One UI, we have got app notifications separately and then we have got lock screen notifications, notification pop-up style, do not disturb, advanced settings, etc. So all these are in separate tabs and when we tap on that tab, you will get into that entire list of applications. When we tap on lock screen notifications, we will have a few more toggles like hide content notifications to show and we also have always on display. Then we have got do not disturb option and advanced settings for notifications. And if we tap on advanced, we get to see show notifications icons for all notifications or three most recent notifications or you can tap on number of notifications only or none so these options we get in the advanced settings we also have an option to see all the notification history right here when we tap on this you can see all those notifications you have received are available right here even if you have cleared the notifications on the lock screen or in the notification panel you will get to see the history right here then we have got a few more options right below this now this is how the many options we have on the one ui 5.0 we've got too many options here whereas on the ios we just get this single page here for the notification settings on the top we can customize the way the notifications appear on the lock screen we can set only the count or the stack notification or the entire list we can set so these are the options we get here now right below that we have got a very useful feature on the ios you can see we have got something called scheduled summary now the scheduled summary feature is going to summarize all those notifications which you get from specific applications which you set and show you in one particular tab like this. And this summary will show up at your preferred time. You'll have to schedule the time at which you would like to see the summary of notifications from some of the applications. This is definitely a brilliant feature and I think Samsung can consider incorporating this feature on the Galaxy devices. As you can see, these are the notifications which comes from the applications in real time. And this is the summary of the notifications from some of the applications which I have selected, which shows up at 8 a.m. in the morning and 8 p.m. in the evening. So basically, these are the notifications which are not really important, and yet 
I would like to see these notifications whenever I am free. That's what this feature does. Then we have got a few other options like show previews, screen sharing, etc. Then we have got this entire list of notifications, tapping on which you can enable or disable the notifications for those applications. These are the notification options that we have on iOS. Now, apart from these features, Apple has also added a brand new feature called Live Activities on iOS 16.1, which enables us to see the live notifications right on the lock screen. This feature may not be predominantly related to the notifications, but yes, it does show notifications of live activities such as sports scores, exercise or steps, live food delivery information or ride share information, or a cool app like Lock Launcher, which shows up on the lock screen as a notification and offers the shortcuts for some of the applications and functions on the phone. I've made a dedicated video on this particular application. If you're interested, you can check the video out. I will leave a link in the description. This is how Apple has implemented the notification features on iOS. You let me know what do you think about these implementations on these phones? Which one is better? Which one is more advanced? Do let me know in the comment section below. In my opinion, both are pretty good. Samsung has its own offerings on One UI and Apple has its own implementation on the iOS. But to some extent, when it comes to the animations and transitions and that scrolling effect, iPhone seems to be better. And features like live activities and scheduled summary takes the iOS slightly ahead of One UI. That is just my opinion. So we are talking only about the notification features and its implementation. So keep that in mind and let me know which one do you think is better in the comment section below. That's so I want to share with you guys if you want to see any more comparison videos between the iOS and One UI in terms of any specific features do let me know in the comment section and while you do that be sure you subscribe to the channel to know your phone better and smash the like button if you find this video useful and entertaining that's about it thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off cheers bye bye